and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on for some mono black control. It's back by popular demand. This is a pretty sweet deck. Um, is it the best deck in the format? No, but we get to do some really cool stuff. So, you know, like we're playing a, a late game mono black control deck. Uh, the reason why we're mono black is mostly because of this card, Dread Presence. Um, every swamp we play, we get to do two damage to something and gain two life. So we get to just mow things down as removal. Or if we don't even need to do that, we can just draw a card and lose a life instead. This card is just really cool from M20. I mean, just look at it too. It just looks sweet. So that's what we have. We have a Dread Presence deck here. Besides that, we have tons of removal. As you can see, lots of various removal. We have discard with four duress main deck because duress is basically good against everybody. Like there's there's nothing that duress is bad against. Um, we have treasure map as our early card to uh, have our card selection. You know, make sure we don't like flood out or make and uh, also make sure we hit our land drops. You know, whichever one we need. So we just keep scrying every turn and then we flip it and we have a lot of mana. Then we could do these uh, big mana things. We have our six mana planeswalkers with Liliana and Ugin at the top end. As you can tell, we've moved to three Ugin because it's just such an important card to have. It's just su such a powerful card. Um, over in the four mana slot, we got our Karns, two Cyanoverzas, three Great Creators. The Great Creators are like they they go get our win cons. Well, besides like Ugin, but like they go get the things that put the games away. Like we can we can find like Meteor Golem to blow something up, statue if the opponents. Uh, struggling with casting stuff we can go grab a golos to um, help ramp us you know like if we have this on four we don't have anything to do on turn five we can get golos to help ramp us uh, golos goes and get cabal stronghold of course unless we need a blast owner a field of ruin um, or another swamp for dread presence uh, we have the one chromatic lantern in our sideboard that turns on Golos, so like if we already have Golos, we can go grab Chromatic Lantern to then be able to activate Golos. And then of course we have Helm of the Host, which Helm's, Helm of the Hosting Dread Presence is super sweet. Start cop making copies of Dread Presence. Or of course you can copy Meteor Golem or God Pharaoh Statue sometimes as well. So it's just a cool little deck here. It's fun to play. Uh, got lots of removal and everything. Uh, yeah, just a fun little deck. I Going with three Ashioks for the Scape Shift matchup. Um, I don't love them, to be honest, but that's what we got. We're going with them. So let's give this a try. All right, let's play a league. See how we do with Mono Black Control. Yeah, before I had one, I had one Lantern in the main and one Lantern in the side before but kind of decided that we i only really wanted one lantern and i wanted karn to be able to get lanterns so like you know we're basically playing three lanterns by you know because the karns can grab lantern so just have the one in the sideboard sure I'm going to wait a turn. I'm going to like look at eight cards, basically. Instead of looking at seven cards, let's look at eight cards. Let's let them draw a card, because I'm not really scared of them doing anything on turn one here. All right, so it looks like a Teshar combo deck here. That was a good card to draw. Yeah, so they kept the card on top with the surveil. So 
so we get to so dread presence can kill teshar this next turn Let me aid your research. So my only way to actually kill Tamiyo is if they... Wait, did I say draw a card? Oh, it just didn't happen. My only way to actually kill Tamiyo there was to... Um, was for them to not block and then me do, do four damage to Tamiyo. Because if I would have... If I would have done the Dread Presence, play the land, do two to the one one, and then two to the Tamiyo, we're only attacking Tamiyo for three, so library. five isn't killing it, so that was my only actual way to kill it. Alright, hopefully that helped with the the sink problems, maybe I messed it up. Maybe maybe it went farther down instead of maybe it got worse instead of better, I don't know. But I'll put it back to the normal setting that it usually is. That was a really good. That was a really good druidic bow for them. I question this outcome. Yeah, they only got to look at three cards. They hit Oath of Kaya and the one one that drew a card. That was a great druidic bow. We may die here. Not sure. We may die. So they get to uh, <clears throat> and copy Kethis. Army will envelop this world. 
I do love a good death whale. Waste not, they were a lousy servant anyway. Uh, kill things. So yeah, I don't, I don't know. I feel like, I don't know, I was just really scared of like what they could do. I don't, I don't even know what they were going to do, but I was just scared of it and... Whenever a creature you control dies. This looks like a fun new toy. Is this just worse? Am I just making the the lag worse? I don't I don't really know how to fix it. With like the the lag with the voice and everything. I really should have seen that coming. Ashiok's the only thing that beats our opponent's deck. And we got three of them in the sideboard. So that's good. So yeah, they drew Kethys, so now they get to play everything. It's a big delay now. No defeat. What a drag. What about now? Is this better? I'm hopefully going the other way. I have become too involved with my work. Is it, all they have to do is just exile two legendary cards, then each legendary means you can play it now. No, I've never played this Kathis deck. All right, fixed. Okay. No, it's not unlimited casting of moxes. Each each time they want to cast the mox in the graveyard, they have to exile to legendary permanents from their graveyard. Uh, no idea what will be the best deck after rotation. Standard's going to change a lot. There's There's honestly no way to know that right now. The fall set's going to have a big impact on standard. It always does. Okay. So, cast down doesn't seem super relevant. We want exile stuff. I mean, this is destroy, but it hits Kethis and um, Teshar. Probably still worth it to play Ritual of Set, though. And plus, Noxious Grass can kill Tamiyo as well. And Trimagolos. What are the other two cards? I'm taking out Duresses. 
Didn't really seem like we need to rest too much. Yeah, I'll be able to spy glass, um, cat this. That'll be nice. But I'm I'm leaving the spy glasses in the board. We have we have the carns, they can grab them. So it's like we're playing three spy glasses. I guess I could have put one in the main, but. Yeah, I took out the cast down. Yeah, it only kills that ex that excavator. All right, so we're going to be using our treasure map to dig for... Got to dig for Ashiok. I think walk the planks weaker than our other options. The sorcery speed's a big deal. Stop. Not fun to get Assassin's Trophy, is it? Not sure... Not sure about the whole... Sure about the whole manual tap. I don't really know why I'm putting that on the bottom, to be honest. I just kind of am. I want them to kind of tap out for this Ashiok. You have erred. Truth lies beyond vision. What else we got over here? Dex rolling. It's rolling.
More Ugin. Curiosity and wonder drive civil Secrets manifest before you. And it's good choice. Alright, we've gotten rid of three Kethises. You will be haunted. Three Kethises exiled. Like, what are their four cards gonna look like that, that they win here? Like, can they? I don't know. I, I mean, I only have sorcery speed removal. Yes, Crafty Girl's Cage stops Kethis' ability. Uh, vampire, Escape Shift, and something else. I guess Esper. I don't know. I guess, yeah, I mean, Vampires and Escape Shift are the obvious top two. The Mending of Dominaria. That's a really cool card. I'm all for any deck that's playing Mending of Dominaria. Our opponent's deck is playing a lot of cool things, a lot of things I like. Let's see, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That'll do. All right, game three. Yeah, I guess we I guess maybe I do need to worry about Urza's Ruinous Blast. Hey Cobal. That's a pretty good card. Yeah, that's how our deck's meant to play. Yep. Yeah, that was a, a good solid hand for us. I had treasure map right away and then Ugin on curve and kinda of turned everything on. <laughs> Vamps are pretty cool. Um, it's like this gets Spyglass for Kethis, and then this exiles something. It's certainly slow. But like, my deck is pretty slow. Like, am I, if I don't have Treasure Map or Ashiok, do I, am I supposed to mull again? That doesn't seem like, that doesn't seem right. Bloodthirsty, Airless instead of Sky March, like instead of the one drop? I don't, I don't think Vampires wants to take out a, a one drop for a three drop. But I do like Bloodthirsty Aerialist a lot. I mean, I think you kind of have to you have to adapt the whole, the whole deck if you put in Bloodthirsty Aerialist. I don't think you just take like a normal vampire deck that people are playing and just take out a one drop and add in a three drop. I think you kind of have to adapt everything. You have to like add another land or two.
You're still playing 14. One drops, that's pretty good. Responsibility. Let's try this. <sighs> I think I want this thing for the card advantage. You may regret that choice. A little dread presence or dread presence. I've got Yeah, no that that's called limited. I don't I don't do limited. Like that's drafting and sealed. For those two, I don't do that myself here on stream. Yeah, I did not bring an Elder Spell. We didn't see this many Planeswalkers previously. So my option is either Dread Presence kill Ashiok or Contempt Kethys. They have to have another... Mox Amber if they're going to cast stuff. Which I hope they don't have another Mox Amber. My retribution will be swift. I'd like to find my own Ashiok to exile their graveyard. That'd be really nice. Trust me, I have a plan. Well, I guess that's not an option anymore. It's falling apart. Behold, I will last my appetite. I do not feel pain. Alright, gonna have gonna make a token here to be able to block. Some solutions must be built. Next turn we'll have Karn get spyglass and name something with spyglass. Your final terror is upon you. 
So five, six, I have the ability to treasure map once. Don't know if I really need to though. Yeah, yeah, let's treasure map once. Because if we get, if we get Cabal Stronghold, we can have a lot more mana, which could be nice. All right, so I'm gonna play this. Play my land. Kill the Teshar. Play Karn. Go get Spyglass. Thanks, foe. All right, Spyglass. Thanks so much. Keeping on that two month streak there. Trophy. I kill Spyglass. I mean, I can name Teferi so they don't bounce by glass. Spy glass is bugged. It changes my graphic settings. I don't want it in 1440. That will lag way too much. Let's go to 1080. All right. Um, I want to say Lazav, though. Yeah, I'm just going to say Lazav. All right, and then uh, you do this. The fabric of the multiverse obeys you. Minus. What was lost is now and go grab another Dread Presence. You attack. And then upkeep oh, stop. So I'm gonna keep them from. Oh no! Ugh. I want them to keep them from turning their creature into Kethis. Oh, that's really gross. I guess I could have just named Kethis. I guess that was the safer thing. Oh, that's really bad for me. I don't know. I assume. I don't know. I'm probably not dead, am I? Maybe I'm dead. Oh, Karn stops Mox Amber. Karn stops Mox Amber. Yes! Karn stops Mox Amber. Woo! Life's great. <laughs> oh wow car the great creator shun people out I don't. I still don't know why these planeswalkers need to have these passive abilities to make them just super broken. But that's what they got. <laughs> well, they could have more than two mana because they can. They can keep. I mean, it does take a while. I mean, they, they have to use a lot of cards, but they had a lot of cards in the graveyard, but they could they can recycle the Mox Ambers. I don't know exactly what they could do. I don't know. I was scared, though. But they could, could have, you know, like four or six, maybe, mana.
I didn't think I was dead. I was just scared of what could happen. But my opponent got to cast the stuff from their graveyard. They had another Mox Amber in there. So, like, if their Mox Ambers work, like, they tap one for mana, then they play the other one, tap that one for mana, so then they have two mana. They can activate Kethis' ability again, play the other one, the first one. Activate that. Now they have three mana. I don't know what they were going to do, but I was scared. Golos isn't bad, I guess. Golos can block and get a swamp. Like getting a swamp obviously is really important. Nah. Too slow. I'll do. <clears throat> Alright, so we're going down to eight. We'll kill both of these things. Your corpse. A little death never hurt anyone. Ugh. Wait. Actually, I want you. I want Swamp. Alright, how much man do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That uses a treasure. Alright, so we'll use one treasure. That's worth it. Recklessness and fear are the seeds of disaster. I am Karn. I will not lose another friend. Chandra awakened Inferno. Thank you. Kill a cavalcade or nah? Kill
Go Cavalcade. Or, nah. So what, how much do you, they draw three mana Chandra and they go and attack with two creatures. That's one, two, three, four. That can be a whole lot. I'm going to kill a cavalcade. Three mana Chandra could be rough. Uh, sure. Oh, more mana. What am I working with over here? Seven, eight. Meteor Golem, destroy this thing, or God Pharaoh statue. We're going to destroy this thing. <laughs> Good help is easy to find in war. All right, three cavalcades down. New cards. New cards. New cards. From battle to the grave. To be honest, I forgot that that was a minus four. I thought that was minus three. So my my bad. Awaken. <laughs> Whoops. All right, can't be countered. Ever see a volcano erupt in person? You're about to. That was a little bit of overkill for that oh, for that zero four. That might have been just a little overkill. We are but moats in a vast multiverse. Ether itself serves me. Uh, Arena's killing me today. Allow me to introduce you to a friend of mine. Yeah, we've been streaming for 11 hours and 20 minutes so far today. So that happens. No, I was going to go. No, they, they quit too early. So what I was going to do is I was going to minus and go grab Helm of the Host and then Helm of the Host the Dread Presence. And so we could have two Dread Presences, so then we get the double trigger. All right, I want Legion's End. I want another set. I want kind of about that. 
We are pretty fortunate. I could play one Spyglass main and have another in the board. And then I only have one to grab with Great Creator. Oh, Elder Spell. I'll play an Elder Spell. Three Mana Chandra. I'm, I'm really worried about Three Mana Chandra. So I'll just play the Elder Spell. That's good. Noxious Grasp, obviously. Um, Golos is slow. Maybe both Goloses. Yeah, just both Golos. Golos. Okay. Now, Simic Flash probably does not beat Mono Red in best of one. Yes, the person that's playing Simic Flash in best of one just knows they won't beat Mono Red and wants to try to beat the decks they're trying to beat Mono Red. Instead. Ah, the, pl the plural of presence is presence, not presences. Shipping up to Boston. Ritual of Soot doesn't work very well now. The old four drop tribal with three lands. Plus, it deals two damage to a target. Have you seen my hair? Oh, that's broken. What a glow up! Oh wait, I have this thing. I'll try to come back. I was like, ah, guess I'm gonna have to go grab Spyglass. Come on, where's the land? Karn doesn't like help me go grab land, so. <laughs> no! The tech! The tech! Tech Tonic Rift, that is. What a killer. Um. 
Alright, draw a land, kill stuff. I will defend my allies. Stand down. Stand down. Hey, End Wars. Thanks so much for that Twitch Prime sub. I really appreciate that. So, Chef, are you talking about, like, PayPal? What am I doing? I should get Golos. Because Golos can go grab Cabal Stronghold, so I actually have mana. Destroy target artifact. Got that right in time. All right, so Ugin. Now you're free. You're free. Everything's free. Yeah, it is, Dizzy. Yeah, this is the deck I made. All right, we are 2-0. Oh, okay. I okay. I guess those things cost more. I gotcha. Cuz yeah, I didn't think that there was any charge for donating. Hmm. That's weird. Good to know though. Yeah, thanks for the heads up there. All right, we're 11 and a half hours into our 12-hour stream. Looks like we may be streaming a little overtime here. Keep picking up some wins. Mono Black Control is not the fastest deck. And... Um, Arena's not being the fastest program today either. So combine the two, and then you get not fast. I like getting the stronghold down into play so that we have more swamps to be able to play with Dread Presence. Like when we have Dread Presence out. There we go, Shaft. All right, first time doing this. Not sure how it works, but I'd like you to around 8 p.m. Eastern tomorrow. Absolutely. Perfect. Did that perfect. So around 8 p.m. Eastern. So that's prob. So that'll probably be the last deck. So yeah, you'll be fourth up tomorrow. Cool. Okay, Orzov, Orzov vamps with, vamps with bloodthirsty aerialist. Okay, sounds good. 
All right, I'll play that tomorrow night. Are you kidding me? Who the heck plays Goblin, Kill Your Treasure Map, Crater Maker? That's rude. I guess I have all these ritual of sets. I'm gonna keep this Legion Zen though. Keeping that so that we get to activate Treasure Map again and then again and flip it. So another Cavalcade deck. They got a Strike and a Coil for removal here. Poor Dread Presence. So we just have just the Field of Ruin on the bottom. And this is where we draw Ugin. Ooh, Blast Zone's not bad. Blast Zone's not bad. Um, I'm going to save the Blast Zone, though, right? Yeah, we'll save it. Now, don't, don't tap the Treasure Cove. What are you doing over here, deck? I'm going to go ahead and play this first, shuffle up. Or like get the, get the stronghold out. Do that first before drawing an extra card here. And we're just digging for our planeswalkers right now. Digging for any of our planeswalkers. We've been doing a pretty good job digging, though. As you can see, we got we only have 45 cards left. Opponent's got 48. We're going to be drawing two cards a turn for the next couple of turns. Gutter Snippers. All right, well, that one's not any good. So yeah, they have three drop, three drop, three drop here. They can set this blast zone too. I kind of want to put it on two though and just kill the Cavalcade of Calamity. Calamity. Since we have Soot and soot back here. Hey, a planeswalker. All right, so. No, stop using the treasure cove. I have 
So they only have three lands. So against three lands, let's go ahead and God Pharaoh statue. All right, fine. You can use the treasure cove. Just because I'm going to ritual upset here and get rid of this 2-2 two -two so it doesn't hurt my Karn. All right, so now we need we need our car not to die. Uh, that's risky. I'm not frightened by you. It's risky. I'm gonna grab the helm though. Also, I'll just blow that thing up. All right, no land, no land, no land, no land. One turn, no land, one turn. That's all we need is one turn. One turn, no land, the game's over. Because if they draw land, they can lightning strike my Karn. If they can't lightning strike Karn, they die. Yay, no land. So we're going to be able to... We're going to animate the statue and turn the statue into a creature and then equip Helm of the Host to the statue. And so we're going to make another copy of statue and then everything would cost four more and then they're just locked out of the game and we just do that every, every turn. All right, grasp out and in. Set in. Um, Golos out or Elder Spell. This this doesn't seem like an Elder Spell matchup, unlike the other one. Yeah, Elder Spell out. Okay. Ugh. Nice. You got to do the Helm of the Host statue combo in paper. It's a sweet one. That's a really good combo. Look at us over here beating mono red decks. They're a little, you know, they're jankier versions of mono red, but they're still mono red. I'm I'm choosing to keep the Karn because I think the Karn can help me hit land drops. I mean, I, I could have been get rid of Ugin instead of get rid of Dread Presence. But I think I think Contempt Karn Treasure Map need to stay. Because, like, we flip Treasure Map. Our Karn Minus makes, like, a 4-4 immediately. It's a good blocker. And everything there. Ugin's just so powerful. I just didn't want to get rid of Ugin. But I could have I could be convinced that I'm supposed to get rid of Ugin there. We're we're not winning this game. Can't really do can't really not do anything until turn four against red decks, usually. <laughs> yeah, it is hard not to throw a Nugent in every deck. It's just so good. It's colorless, too. Just so good. Ow, ow.
So we're looking pretty dead. Playing two scape shift in a row, that is a feels bad. Alright, we're dead. I either need to land so I can keep on hitting land drops for these things, or I need a cheaper removal spell. All right, game three. Ugh. Welcome back, CV Sack. Yeah, we are 2-0 so far. We beat Mono Red Cavalcade. We beat Kethis Combo, and then Mono Red, Ca Mono Red Cavalcade. And now we're playing a another Mono Red deck. This is kind of like Mono Red cards I own kind of thing. But... You know, it's still mono red aggro, so it's still kind of tough. Gutter snipe's annoying. All right, now we need. Our planeswalkers and spells and stuff like that. I'm gonna wait a turn to play duress. If I play duress right now, like they probably just lightning strike me. Where, like, this next turn they play Gutter Snipe and then I duress. And I get to take the Lightning Strike. While we dig for gas. And it's just all swamps. There's no. There's no gas in these swamps. This is a really bad sign for me. Really bad sign. Don't do it. They can sacrifice a goblin to destroy an artifact. Don't do it. No. Ugh. I can't find treasure without a map. Now we will never find treasure. I know, they're anti-artifact mono red. These goblins, they had the... The other goblin that kills colorless non-land permanent. Also, so yeah, the game looks over. Don't have enough interaction here. It's so relying on that treasure map for sure. Mm -hmm. 
All right, we're two and one. All right, two and one. <laughs> yeah, we found we found another map. We didn't have time to get the treasure though. I know, in the red deck playing four and five mana creatures, I couldn't rit ritual of set. That's not cool. Them playing those expensive creatures. This looks like a really good hand to keep. Shuffling. And look for a better one. I kind of want to put the Karn back. It's obviously either Karn or Liliana. I kind of want to put the Karn back. Karn's good like later on in the game when you have your mana and everything. You're starting to stabilize. You like, you know, go grab your artifacts to win. But like early on in the game when you're behind, you like minus and they just like kill it. Whoa. Pass turn. Darn. Yeah, we're gonna get ramped. On real bad. Ritual of Soot. Darn. So two, four, six, eight, ten, or so one, two. So it's it's two, four, six, seven, eight. So they have eight mana. So they can plain white celebration, get stuff back if they want. I advise that you I will rid you of your corruption. Another Karn. What a strange and magnificent world. Harness the elements. So they have five mana right now. We'll play the other Karn. There's a possibility they don't block. So, I was, I was, hmm. I wanted to get that in because I wanted to attack trade and then Liliana away the two creatures. But I guess it's possible they don't block. Yeah. Do not assume I am so then. Uh,
could probably still Liliana away these creatures. The undead make great minions. Loyal. Get out of my way. Death. Ooh, Ugin's good. Ugin's good. They can. They still. They get to kill Liliana though. The land shall conquer you. How disappointing. We have the goal is to be able to block for Ugin in case of more lands. Be wary of the ground you walk on. <laughs> Project Sinkle. I oh, know it's, oh, it's reprint Sinkle, but yeah, that's it. I know more that's than that's the name of this game, game Project Sinkle. <laughs> Okay, let's see. So we're gonna play all of these cards. We don't really have things to take out. I could just take out the dresses. The dresses were good for us because, you know, they had the Planeswalkers in hand. But if we're playing, like, a late game and we're, like, stabilizing, dress isn't going to matter as much. I, I think I should just take out dress. I Legion's End one land. I Liliana made them. They only had two lands that whole game. I made them sacrifice one land to Liliana and Legion's End the other. But yeah, if they animate multiple forests, you can Legion's End all the forests that they animate. Yeah, Golos. So Golos finds Cabal Stronghold, which is really important. I don't love this. I don't love these two cards. Like, this is like... Like, this card is, like, late game after I stabilized kind of thing. Like, I maybe should have taken one of these out, honestly. I don't... This is just four lands Legion's End. Like, these do, these aren't doing anything. I don't think I want to keep four lands Legion's End. I'll just take six other cards. Five land Ugin? Or go to five? I guess I'll keep five land Ugin. Instead of going to five. And at least, at least we're gonna have the mana to draw our, to play the cards off the top of our deck. So we just gotta hope we draw spells. Yeah, then that's the other thing. Yeah, we have a lantern in the in the sideboard to grab with Karn to be able to activate Golos. So yeah, we we can still activate Golos' ability when the game comes to that. No, this deck's actually pretty good against Scapeshift. Scapeshift's a pretty good matchup for us. We have a whole lot of removal for the little zombies. Lots of removal for the little zombies. Between... Um... And then we have like the Ashioks all in the, you know, the sideboard Ashioks and everything. 
Uh, Car and the Great Creator is like good at like shutting down Teferi. Evil must not be tolerated. My allies are counting on me. Hmm. I kind of want to wait a turn. Like if they have Nissa, it's a huge problem. But I let them go get another card. I'm just gonna kill this thing. I will return. Ugin. So they, they can activate the Ley Line of Abundance twice now, so Land, Land Warlf won't die to Cry the Canarium anymore. But that's okay, Liliana is just cool. Alright, Mono Black Control is 3 and 1. We have staved off elimination, we're moving on. And we have now officially been streaming for 12 hours today. So we got overtime stream here. Now uh, Spyglass doesn't do anything against Spyglass. So now it doesn't. Can't Spyglass a Spyglass. Spyglass only stops activated abilities. And so activated abilities are things with colons on them. You can't really see it here, but it says like plus one colon, minus four colon. You can see like the, the colon on the card. That means it has an activated ability. Hello. So we're gonna wait till turn two. So that I get to see eight cards instead of just seven. All right, so escape shift. Ugh. So we have Elder Spell for Teferi. We're going to take Circuitous Route that ramps two cards. We're just hoping to run them out of lands with these ritual sets and stuff. Hopefully. No, I am not making this up as I go. Definitely glad my opponent we ticked will up. Meet again. All right, we're doing a good job drawing land, so we get to Liliana next turn. I do not like seeing that one bit. The reason why I duress that card away. That card's really good. Ooh. Do I start killing these with Dread Presence? No, I want to get Liliana in play. Warrior Queen Necromancer. What a good mindless minion. So, of course, we, just like every deck with sorcery speed cards, we're going to lose if they play, if they play Teferi and then have Teferi scapeshift combo, you know, we lose to that. 
Just gotta hope they don't have that. Get that more crisis over there. Get another crisis. Darn. <laughs> Rise and shine. So I was planning on just ritual of setting, of course. Because yeah, ritual is gonna kill the crisis. But then drawing that legion's end. Wanted to see if we had the ability to hit another crisis from their hand. Okay, so the the term before how yeah so resident you're saying that I should not have played the swamp for the Liliana, so as you notice I used Cabal Stronghold to make enough mana and have one land left over to cast Liliana, but I would not have had enough mana if I didn't play that swamp. The reason why we had enough mana was because we had that extra swamp. We you did we did need <clears throat> that swamp on the battlefield um, to be able to cast the Liliana. Just hold on. Okay. When you understand reality, truth lies All right, so beyond. Karn's a really good draw. I can now go grab. My purpose is greater than myself. I can grab Spyglass and just name Teferi so that we don't die to the combo. Because if they just draw Teferi, you know, we could die to that combo. So Teferi Time Raveler. And, you know, our goal is to, to try to ult ultimate this Liliana. We're going to try to just run them out of lands. I'll be really surprised if we lose from here, to be honest. This is looking quite good for us. Looks like our my opponent's just going all in. So sacking five lands. They had twelve before, so they've gone through seventeen lands. So not not all in. So if I play Cry, I don't draw a card for this thing dying, or this thing dying. I don't draw two cards off Liliana. If I play Ritual of Soot, I draw two extra cards. So I should probably play Ritual of Soot. I know Soot kills Krasis, though, so I kind of want to save a Soot also. It's not a bad card. So what are we going to want here? I what ends this game?
I'll go Helm and see if we draw a creature. How about that? I guess I could get Field of Ruin. I don't know if we really need that, though. This looks like a fun new toy. Secrets manifest before you. Yeah, I have one chromatic lantern in the sideboard that I can grab with Karn to be able to activate Golos. Uh, Blast Zone's a problem. I forgot about Blast Zone. I mean, problem is, you know, that's how you want to define problem, but <clears throat> that's a perfect card. But I probably should have just grabbed the other spyglass. I don't really want to make any of these creatures. Yeah, I'm gonna spyglass blast zone. I couldn't so I probably should have grabbed spyglass for instead of that home of the host. I got greedy, but we got lucky by finding another Karn. I will not lose another friend. Awesome, Wake. Glad to hear it. Yeah, oh yeah, that's true. Even if I didn't draw that Karn... With the other card, I would have been able to tick up on my Spyglass, and then I could have equipped the Helm of the Host to the Spyglass and gotten another Spyglass that way. That's true. Alright, so we get a couple more Sweepers and these Ashioks from the sideboard. Take out the Cast Downs. Take out a Golos. Hmm. What are the three cards we want to take out? I guess I have to take out the other Golos too. So there, Liliana is really important to us winning that. Maybe it's just the creatures, though. Eh, I hate taking out the creatures. I just, I don't really see anything else to take out. Besides the other Dread Presences. I don't want to take out the Dread Presences, though. Make Ugin, but I don't think I'd take that out either. I guess this could have been a Dread Presence. The other, the Elder Spell. This isn't going to beat a perfect hand, but, you know, this has cards that do things. I 
A second Ugin looks kind of silly. I can no longer stand by and watch. This might be a bad idea. It's only a matter of time. All right, we got a field of the dead. One field of the dead down. That is so rude. I'll protect you. That is so rude. That will go according to plan. As a side note though, every game that I've ever played Ashiok against Scapeshift I've lost. So will this be the first? We break the streak. I mean, eventually got to win one, right? Might as well win this one. Perfect. No counterspell. Resolve. Lame. So that's two Field of the Deads down. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine. Nine lands. And they're putting in seven more. So 16 lands down. Kept something on top there. I don't like them keeping that on top. I don't know if it was like the guild gate or the rejuvenator. Probably like that rejuvenator. I know they get to just take these things out if they want or do a lot of damage to me. But. I feel like if I just played Ritual so last turn, and then they had like another scape shift, I'd be in a lot of trouble. Where this way, I was okay. Well, we drew another Ritual set anyway. I was hoping. I mean, if they just have another counter spell, obviously I'm dead. But I was hoping to be able to go like Ritual set plus Ashiok. Put the blast zone right there at three. Probably sacking like the other six lands and not the blast zone or the field would be my guess. Oh, they're just sacking two lands.
They want to keep last zone activation up. Yeah, I'm playing with fire here. Again, we are almost dead. So they have growth spiral. <clears throat> they have growth spiral land, I'm dead. But with just again with just one ritual of Sid, I kind of needed to gain me another turn. Which planeswalker goes well with Simic Flash? Um, Vivian, Champion of the Wilds. Wood. Sorry, I'm late. Oh, I've done the hero thing before. Okay. Only Got rid of some crises. <laughs> there is great power in the things we make. Please don't kill me. They did not kill me. It's a good sign, good sign. Good job, Ashiok. Have we gotten rid of all four Teferis? One, two, three, four. Yes, we have gotten rid of all four. We need more sweepers. We need more sweepers. See, I was I was scared of like, um, you know, the thing that lets them play lands, whatever the thing's called. Guild early, grow spiral. Scared of grow spiral. Farewell and thank you. Behold, you will be haunted. That's right, opponent. Even though you get this game, you will be haunted. Well, it's still, I'm, I'm like 0 for 6 or like something like that. I've, I've never won a game where I've played Ashiok against scapeshift yet still just never have all right i need more dread presence i mean i was taking lethal there they still had like you know like 15 cards or so 
I was taking lethal. Let's take it out of Karn, the great creator. Yeah, that's the thing to do. All right, game three, we got to win or we are eliminated with the second loss. Oh man, Sothian, that is awesome. You actually got to cut purse and get 20 tokens yourself in Arkbo. That is awesome. I'm worried about these Ixalons bindings. If I just play Dread Presence next turn and don't draw a card from it. will still give me a card. Even if it's the worst out of the two cards on top, it's still a card. Swamps can't turn into extra cards. Because it would be good in Simic Flash because it gives your creatures, your cre you can cast your creatures as though they had instant speed. It gives you card advantage. Um Are you certain of your decision? I mean I guess I need to contempt that thing. I gotta find a way to stop <clears throat> their combo kill. Which we haven't found yet. I'll make use of that laser. So, I mean, I can kill these things and gain some life. Or draw more cards. Ever truly lost.
opponents watching the stream. Oh well. Can't do anything to stop that. Rude, but if the opponent wants to be that way. So this is six, and we have two left. I can't play Dread Presence and Ugin, I don't think. How convenient. An excellent choice. I don't really like my chances of winning this. We're trying. That's basically what it was. This Could they find that? Oh, they bounced. Okay. Well, it doesn't kill us immediately. Not dead immediately. So seven, eleven, twelve, twelve, three, four, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. If I want to do that also.
So yeah, instant speed, scape shift. Gonna be hard to beat. I the the only way that I stop that is by finding duress that like makes them like would make them scape shift on during my turn and then can play the something else. So just digging here. I mean I, I could have gone Karn. I mean I guess I guess Ashiok also stops that though. If I play Ashiok, then they can't. So yeah, so I actually get two. So besides playing that second Dread Presence, I was definitely thinking about going and grabbing Karn and Spyglassing Teferi instead of the second Dread Presence here this last turn. Um, sorry, Liliana. I like you, but... All right, that'll do. All right, kill to fairy. This is hardly my worst defeat. <clears throat> Do we actually win one when we play Ashiok? We got backup Ashiok. Splashiok. So we have gotten to pad our life total up a good amount here with these Dread Presences, which is making my opponent want to go get a good amount of lands. Coming on back, Kiosh. All right, so what have we gotten rid of? Three Veil of Summers. Two Little Teferi. Two Vetoes, two Krasis. Four lands, including a Field of the Dead. Play this thing. So they have all three other Field of the Deads in play. I think we've turned it around. hard for them to kill us. Oh yeah, I should definitely draw my card first. Ah! 
I have faced worse than the likes of you. We're trying. I will rid you of your corruption. Ooh, looking good. All right, no blast zone. Got rid of a couple more lands. Got rid of third crisis, third Teferi. This is looking great. We're gonna finally win with Ashiok. That one's good. Oh, it just will help us dig. Alright, so Karn can minus and what, grab another treasure map? I oh yeah, Dread Presence is great. In fact, I want more Dread Presence. these so combat will make another dread presence we will not attack we're gonna mow down some zombies mow down a zombie mow down a zombie Get rid of four more cards. Hopefully run them out of lands here pretty soon. Now I want to see binding. There we go. Got a binding. I want to get binding out of here. I don't want them to like... I don't even know what they're going to do. Binding spyglass. Then blast zone something. So they can kill Ashiok here. How many lanes have we gone through? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, seventeen, twenty, three. So we've gone through twenty three lands so far. Yes, the token has 4 CMC also. Man, we're... We are almost to our... 13 here. I do not, Guapo. No, I'm enjoying content production more than tournament life. So that's 27 lands. Yeah, I guess I'll take that. This is the mono black video that you've been waiting for. 
Yeah, this is awesome. Give me that quad dread presence life. All right. Want to get four dread presence in here, so if my opponent concedes, we at least have our four dread presences first. We're just locking them out completely. Oh, like we're just gonna mill them over. Like they're they're gonna have their eleven card. Like we're just gonna kill them basically by that. Um, I guess you can draw a card. I guess I should scry first. Uh, nah, we don't need that. Okay. Got the scoop. We are four and one. We are going on to the final boss. With Mono Black Control. Here we go. Where's my final boss playlist? Got the scape shift. That was the first time ever we won while we played Ashiok against scape shift. It finally happened. It had to happen eventually. Yeah, Dread Presence, clearly the superior landfall trigger to Field of the Dead. Why would you want to just get a 2-2 whenever you could kill that 2-2 instead? Oh, what if the final boss is Mono Black Aggro? That'd be great. That'd be great. Uh, yeah, we got Treasure Map. <laughs> I guess we got treasure map here. Turn one, Cabal Stronghold. Just already flexing. Opponent's already jealous of our deck. <laughs> Thanks, Sanders, for the Ashley win there. Finally. Oh man, we're gonna have to play another 40 minute match. Okay, and it's Sultai version. Sultai ver version's gotta be a lot harder for us to beat, right? Cause like they're playing like five and six mana creature, or, like five mana creatures that are gonna be tough for us to deal with. This has gotta be harder to beat. Ashiok doesn't really stop them. Cause they don't, they don't search. Yeah, this has gotta be Harder to beat. We are playing mono black control down at the bottom and with the star on it. Now this one's not this one's not scape shift. Uh, give me some lands. Cool. I mean, unless it could be, but normally the people that play Soul Tire are playing like Elementals and not Scape Shift or Circuitous Route. Yeah, Ashiok can hurt the Cavalier, but is that worth a card? I don't know if that's worth a card. Mm -hmm. 
So I could have Spyglass name Frasca, but then Blast Zone kills it. If I go Spyglass Blast Zone, then Frasca kills it. I think I'm supposed to go Golos to help ramp. An unfortunate casualty. All right, so we'll field of the dead this next turn. The Karn will die, but that's just kind of life. Yeah, getting Chromatic Lantern for Golos doesn't make a lot of sense with Golgari Queen here, though. Its loss will serve us. Yeah, sack the Krasis. Darn, they didn't sack Krasis. Alright, well, I guess I need to field the rune first. Need to just play the field of ruin. Okay, so they got five cards in hand. Oh, come on. <laughs> Ugh, more of those. Ugh, more of those. I do hope you make this battle exciting for me. I guess I'm going to have to meet your goal on that thing. I suppose. Yeah, I get to draw two cards. What? They didn't sacrifice a zombie to draw two? Wow, really? Don't 
Death won't conquer me so easily. Yeah, we, we had to restart the stream, so it says 3 hours 32 minutes, but I started at at 10 this morning. It's 11 at night now, so we've we've been going for 13 hours for the stream now today. So one more land I, I definitely feel like they're going to have instant speed zombies here. If I attack. I feel like attacking is a trap. It's got to be a trap, right? It's got to be. So I have 11 mana, so I had perfect amount of mana. Like, drawing that land was perfect to allow me to Karn plus Meteor Golem and kill this Golgari Queen before it ultimates. It's not often I'm outmaneuvered. No attacks. Attacking's a trap. It's gotta be. Yep. Well, it was a definite trap. Darn. If we got to resolve Karn, or if we got to activate Karn again, which would have been ideal, then... I would have been able to go grab Helm of the Host, and I had the mana to equip to Meteor Golem. Couldn't they have played that first and gotten another zombie? Life's about to end. Hope you're ready. Sacrifices must be made. Skulkari queens are tough. And this blast zone. A huge problem, too. Speaking of Blast Zone, we can go grab our own. Or it's just another or it's another Cabal Stronghold. Might as well get the Blast Zone. I think we have enough mana. Smelly, but 
perspective. Honestly, maybe Legion's ending the Krasis would be would have been better than using my Ritual of Soot because of Liliana. Honestly, I probably should have just Legion's on the Krasis. Would have been able to take another Krasis if they had one too. Um, I don't want to play the Ugin because then, <clears throat> then they get gr really great Rise blast zone shine. value out of Ugin and Liliana. I'm still here. I will rise again. So the rejuvenator missed, right? Yeah, I guess it missed. Alive or alive. Another crisis. Boo. Um. It seems fortune favors you. Recklessness and fear are the, the fabric of the multiverse. All right, another crisis. Coming up here. Got to be like running out of lands, right? 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 All right, I guess it's just 17 lands. They probably have like another 9 10 lands in the 26 cards. Probably a third of their deck still lands. Refilled their hand. How many? That's their third crisis, though. I think that's land number 18. 
Uh, this is still game one. Chances that one of those is another crisis. Is it better or worse that, 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 than if they have Cavalier in their deck? Um. Darn, was not another crisis. It's not looking great for me. I wish I would have just cast cast down that thing and saved this Legion's End right about now. We need Ugin to find stuff. We're not really finding things. What's my dread presence? Karn. Yeah, if we get our other Karn, we can activate Golos. Their other Karn can grab Spike Lot or grab Chromatic Lantern. Oh no, not another Field of the Dead. Dread Presence! Two two wars. We're gonna go through my the whole forty three minute final boss playlist in this first game. Oh, that is terrible news. All right, that is really bad. All right, so I'm going to need to... I need to draw a card here. I need to get more cards now. All right, there we go. There was a Karn. So they're at 18. I'm at 31. As far as milling out goes.
So nine plus six is fifteen. All right, more Dread Presence. More Dread Presence. All right, that's the last one of those things. They're down to 10 cards now. Yeah, the only Mission Impossible theme was like a, a string was like a, a string quartet kind of Mission Impossible theme that I had on here for the longest time, but I actually just took it off like yesterday when I put on some new Final Fantasy music. I don't know, it was I was kinda tired of hearing that version. That was the only one that I found on Spotify. I didn't look too hard though, to be honest. I guess so I, I could look for a better version of the final the Mission Impossible theme. Cause that is a good one. If we need more sweepers, we have the Golos to go to help us find sweepers. I don't really know how many more sweepers I have left in my deck. I don't know. It's late. I'm just hoping this is enough to kill our opponent eventually. At least that they can't kill me. Well, that's a bummer. I liked my Helm of the Host. So they're down to nine cards. That's all we that's all we're doing against these Field of the Dead decks is just milling them out because we just fight through everything. <laughs> Gosh, this takes so long. What, they're actually playing Scape Shift? Alright, well, I guess they have a Scape Shift in their deck. I guess that's a thing. Alright, well, you got... I don't know how many lands they have left. 
Yeah, they're they're halfway through their clock into game one, exactly. This is mono black control, in a nutshell. Okay, you're gonna try to kill me. I can't like activate this on their turn and then cast instance. Or like cast sorceries as instance on their turn, right? Hooray! They gave up. I mean we, we were gonna win that anyway. We had that covered pretty easily. With a fourth dread presence and with the Golos activation. And then Karn could even make that the chromatic lantern a three three blocker. We got there. <laughs> yeah, that was game one. Time to sideboard. See, I don't know. Golas was good. This is still 62. Maybe don't actually play the Ashiox. Maybe like one Ashiox. Maybe zero Ashiox. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, this is like Ruby Weapon Final Boss. I'll take out a cast down for a Ashiox. There we go. I want to go low still. Oh, yeah, they did have those Planeswalkers. Oh, yeah, I should keep the Elder Spell in. Dude, this game took so long, I forgot. I forgot they had those the, those Planeswalkers earlier. I'm telling you, I'm, I'm holding on by a thread here. Coming in on 13 and a half hours streaming now. I didn't even remember that they... I even thought about that. I was like, well, they didn't seem to play any Planeswalkers. I forgot that, like, you know, 20 minutes ago, all I was worried about was how was I going to beat those, like, that Vraska. Like, those Vraskas. Ugh. Oh yeah, maybe I should aside maybe I should sideboard out treasure map here because of their Golgari Queens. That's right, Golgari Queen like ate my treasure map and I was really sad. I don't know if I can really do that. Treasure map. It's kind of important. Thanks, MG What? Uh, who knows if they have more walkers in the sideboard. They could. Who knows? I could have anything. Uh, gotta love when they have Veil of Summer. Man, why was Veil of Summer printed just to hate on my mono black aggro deck? It's not like mono black aggro is strong enough that it needs one mana cryptic command against it. Why does one mana cryptic command need to be a card? They're like, do you know what standard needs? One mana cryptic command against mono black control. Mono black control is too too strong.
Well, we're probably dead. All right, my opponent definitely knows my my list. They know how important Nugan is. But I guess we play it out. They got 12 minutes left. I think they're playing too much removal. I could be wrong. This Dread Presence could just die, and that'd be really sad. Why is Ugin important here? Because I don't have very many cards that win the game, but Ugin's like my best one. The card sleeves kind of give it away. That's a good, good call there. I'm kind of giving it away. The up t we we had to reset the stream. The uptime's wrong. It's been 13 hours and 20 minutes now. Are you kidding me? It's not even fair. I require servants. It's not even fair. Your will volunteer. To shambles. Ugh, looks like you're on your own now. Good news, they only have two cards. So that's the good news. We just gotta fight through two Our cards. We'll see if we regret not playing this Swamp here. Saving it for the Dread Presence next turn. See if we regret that. Have another Veil of Summer. This will not deter me.
police will aid us. Not another Veil Summer, but another Krasis. Good news is we can survive a lot. It's good news. We can we can handle a lot. Okay, we can handle less now. Yeah, this is pretty nightmarish. Bunch of duress, veil of summer. Yuck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Another duress. I'm good at what I do. Pain is weakness, leaving the body. Oh! I did not want that to be my turn. Did not want that to be my turn. I meant to activate Blast Zone there and put Blast Zone up to two to be able to kill the Krasis. Darn it. This would be looking great if we would kill the Krasis. Man, I would have had the mana too. Pop Lasso and exile the Krasis. But of course, we're going to kill this Cavalier Thorn. I just have a third Veil of Summer. Uh, 
Oh yeah, we did we did go through that whole playlist. Time to reset it. So this game's officially been going on for 43 minutes. So that 43 pl minute playlist just finished up. Don't, I don't know if I can drag this game out too much longer if we're just going to be drawing all these swamps. But they did start this game with 15 minutes on their clock. Play. What do I want to get with Karn? I guess I want to get. I advise that you yield. I am not threatened by you. So I could go, I could grab Meteor Golem that just kills the Vraska. But that's still going to be pretty tough. Yeah, I don't, I don't have anything in exile. They just cry to the top, then the bottom. <laughs> Two on Mordigos. All these lands. All right, I guess that's it.
They just ultimate Vraska and I die. So they have... Two on Mord Ego, three Veil of Summer, a Duress. The next wound will be fatal. Looks like just the one Cavalier of Thorns. All right, get all our spell back in here. I'm not taking out duress. Duress is really good. Alright, we're over 13 and a half hours now. I took out a treasure map because of Golgari Queen. Killing treasure map really easily. We're going to need to hit land drops here, though. So I think I think they only have three Planeswalkers in their deck. So I don't... I mean, the, the three Planeswalkers are important to kill. But it looks like they just have two Golgari Queens and one Liliana. I don't know if I want two Elder Spells for three total Planeswalkers. Oh, that's a lot of Field of the Dead already. Hey, Gooey. Are these all different? No, I got two overgrown a tomb. That's a good sign. All right, Dread Presence. Let's clean this up. Clean up on, on aisle three. Spilled ocean water. Look at that, I attacked. Is that like my first attack? That might be my first attack. Better not play Liliana and kill my Dread Presences. I'll be really sad. Hooray, not Liliana, kill your Dread Presences. Yeah, it definitely looks like they have Veil of Summer. So I just want to get the get the value of these dread presences, draw some more cards. Ugin can kill this thing. Still certainly hope no Liliana. They have like one Liliana in their deck. Just please don't have that Liliana. 
Yeah, we're not getting that attack with 25 creatures daily over here. I don't think they're going to do it. I don't think they can kill me 2 minutes 45 seconds. I don't think they can do it. They gave up. The hardest fought win. Dread Presence, Landfall, confirmed better than both Field of the Dead and Risen Reef. And we did it. The hardest fought league of all time. Finish our 13 hour and 40 minute stream. Mono black control, milling people out. Just two control. Two control. I don't even know what else to say. Our deck was awesome. <laughs> don't even know what else to say. Thanks everybody for sticking sticking around here for this really long stream. Thanks all the kind words here in the chat. Um, yeah, loved, loved that we moved up to three Ugans. That card is just incredible. Um, that's about it. So there we go. All right, I'm going to end the stream here. That was fun. If you're watching the video on YouTube, please hit that like and subscribe buttons over there. I'd appreciate that. But thanks for watching Mono Black Control, and I'll see you for the next video. Take care. Yeah, no kidding. We should have played this in the MCQ.